Welcome to part of our CES 2022 coverage. We'll be making short videos like this through CES to keep you up to date on the latest developments. Hit subscribe and the notification bell to make sure you see the moment we post a video. Like most outlets, we're covering CES virtually this year, which means that we spent a chunk of change on getting ready to go, and then on not going. So if you'd like to support the channel, check out Patreon and our other links below. It's that time of year when I repeatedly say the things that drive our viewership figures way down. Because it's CES, and this year's phrase is Software Defined Vehicles. Another one of those phrases that makes me want to weep openly. Among those uttering that today was NVIDIA, who, in addition to its usual graphics card content, also gave an update on the autonomous driving system that it's been incrementally improving. We covered NVIDIA's system back at CES in 2018 when it cheerfully explained that the iteration then being demonstrated was capable of level 5 autonomy. Which, for those of you not familiar with levels of autonomy, basically means that the car could nip to the coffee shop, grab you your morning coffee, make you breakfast and then ferry you to work, all while you just read your copy of Gideon the Ninth, feet up and relaxing. If that's what you do when you're reading Gideon the Ninth. Now, you, like us, may have noticed that there aren't a lot of level 5 autonomous vehicles around, and so perhaps take this information with the relevant pinch of salt, as it's been revealed over the past few years that level 5 autonomy is remarkably difficult to achieve. Somewhat like fuel cell vehicles, it's always just around the corner. The eighth iteration of the platform, now known as the NVIDIA Drive Hyperion 8 platform, features two NVIDIA Drive Orin system-on-a-chip computers. That system interfaces with 12 surround cameras, 9 radars, 12 ultrasonic sensors, 1 front-facing LiDAR, and 3 interior sensing cameras. That entire system then integrates with NVIDIA's own data collection system. But perhaps the more interesting thing about this system is that it continues to use NVIDIA's standard form factor, and so provides hardware and software compatible upgrade paths, allowing cars to go into production using the Hyperion 8 system now, with the expectation that come 2025, the Atlan system, which was announced last year, will be available as a drop-in replacement. Obviously, as you'd expect, there are questions about whether that's realistic, given the increased number of sensors and resolution of cameras that many automakers have opted to include in pursuit of full self-driving, although obviously Tesla have indicated that a camera-only system is their chosen route to autonomy, so whether or not all those systems are required is debatable. NVIDIA's system is built in a modular way, allowing automakers to just buy the bits they want or need, and on it runs a custom core operating system with which comes the ability to build AI training models in the cloud, generate synthetic training data like, for example, people running into the road or trees dropping across the car's path. Things that are uncommon, but the car needs to know how to handle and react to. The system also provides for safety validation, and being as complete autonomy as the target, it has multiple redundant systems, allowing for the car to continue to function safely in the case of a total failure of one of the computers. That is extremely important in a vehicle expected to function autonomously. With that goal of getting this system into cars, NVIDIA stated that the system will be going into production this year, and it's been adopted by multiple, quote, new energy vehicle companies mainly, as you might expect with that terminology, in China. Polestar, NIO, Xpeng, Li Motors, R Motors and SAIC's premium EV brand IM have all signed up to utilise the NVIDIA system, which should mean that we start seeing cars equipped with it in China in the not-too-distant future. Polestar's 3 is slated to also include the NVIDIA drive system, so we may see that over in the US. Along with them, various tier 1 part suppliers, the companies who make the bits that automakers use to build cars, namely Flex, Desay, Quanta, Vallejo and ZF, they have also signed up to use Hyperion 8 too, which will mean that even if your pet automaker isn't on the list of partners, you may find a Hyperion 8 powered driver assistant system hiding in your vehicle. But it's not cars where that impact is likely to be felt most rapidly. 
While level two autonomous systems add a layer of safety to passenger vehicles, it's in trucking and last mile delivery where autonomous systems are likely to be adopted really rapidly. Providing cost savings for companies and simultaneously addressing the shortage of truckers exacerbated by the COVID pandemic and by people's changing shopping habits. As such, it's unsurprising that Nvidia indicated that Too Simple is building its next autonomous platform using Nvidia Drive, and that those trucks will likely find their place serving UPS, Navistar, and Penske. That's it for this update. Keep that notification bell tapped to keep up to date with our CES coverage, because we'll be back with more soon. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave your thoughts below or in our free to join Discord chat room. There's a link below. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and our other channel, Transport Evolve Take Two, for longer takes. Thanks on behalf of the entire TE crew, go out to the folks on my right for being our $15 to $49 a month patrons. Special thanks to our $50 a month patrons, Chris Maxwell, Brian Newton, Jason Bodor, Dave Kitchen, Michael Goad, Ricky Leong, Andrew Martin, Guido Drahota, Brophy Wolf, Tesla in the Gong, Gordon C, Stephen O'Donoghue, Kyle Hodgson, Anthony Coates, Ray Jean Fellows, Rory Litwin, Anonymous Freak, Jim Burness, and Denny Hyde. And our deepest gratitude to our $100 a month Patreon supporters, Marcel Ward, Reggie Watts, Joe Bresney, JP Fagerback, Will Graylin, Matthew Drobnak, John Lyons, Christopher Lee Jones, Laura Reynolds, Paul Conway, Ellery Hensley, and of course, Ian. Feeling left out? You can join Patreon at the link below or show us your support through Bitcoin, Kofi, or through our cool swag store. Links are all below. Thanks for joining me, and as always, keep evolving.